Alrighty then, hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to adjust your light settings for the uh, Aprilia scooter and then the uh, SXR50. So you will see, there it is. And our lights were too high, so took the liberty to take it off to show you where the actual screws are. So. Normally you will need a tool for this, but just to give a better overview, this is basically how the whole thing looks. This screw is for your main light, like your your uh, your highlight, so to say, and this screw is for the ones on the side. Now, normally you will need a tool for that, so you can see there are tiny little holes here on both sides, and those holes can be found in the scooter but like i said you need a tool for that i have no idea what type of tool but i just wanted to make sure that everybody knows where those holes are so these are the two holes to adjust your lights and like i said you need a tool for that so normally you go under the thing and there will be two holes in here kind of hard to see but uh, doing best so there's one hole and the other one is over there so there's one hole here where my finger is this is one hole and that's the other one and you don't need to disassemble what I have done so I've disassembled it because I wanted to make a video about it so these holes are used to adjust the lights but you need a tool for that so you don't need to completely separate the entire scooter what I have done but uh, like I said I wanted to make a video to show you where those things are now since i'm already did disassemble the lights for this thing i need to adjust this one because it's but way too high for my setup so this is the black version so normally you only see this from the top and i never knew where this screw was so this is literally like okay how do i adjust the lights i couldn't find that much information about it but it's right underneath there and you need, like I said, special tools to rotate those gears. Now an engineer will probably have one of those tools, but if you want to do it yourself, you don't necessarily have to disassemble the whole entire thing like I did. And uh, yeah, I've done it to show you where everything is. So this one is for those main lights that you see here. So hopefully that will clear up some things. Like I said, I disassembled it for you guys so you can see where the uh, how the lights look because there was not much information. I've been trying to Google it and uh, I couldn't find how to adjust these lights. And now you know, like I don't have those tools so I have to do it with the uh, normal screws. So that's why I gently loosened this up from here. This goes like here, like that. And I temporarily disable this so I can adjust my lights. I just need to lower it a little bit. So um, that's why I have it disassembled. So you have a clear view on, oh, the screw is there and I need that type of tool to, uh, to turn those gears that you see there. So my apologies, my camera is not focusing, but there you go that's the gears to change that so thanks for watching and uh, yeah i'm gonna change the lights and then uh, yeah like i said i hope this video was useful now i wouldn't recommend disassembling it like i've done the chance that you break something is relatively high and um, it's not that easy to disassemble and it's not meant to be dis disassembled by you and me. It's just like, because you also need to take off these things and they can break relatively easy. So, like I said, I would not recommend disassembling it unless you know what you're doing. Now, I have a lot of experience with scooters and disassembling some bits here and there. And uh, yeah, I know uh, roughly what I'm doing. It was quite a task to figure it out, but uh, there you go. Um, 
if you want to see more of these type of videos let me know and i'll try my best like i said not all information is available or it's made relatively difficult i uh, had to post this problem online to figure out how to get there and i thought well i don't have that tool don't want to pay like massive amounts of euros on uh, on an engineer and schedule and stuff like that and it's kind of like i need this fixed now so that's why i disassembled it for you so you know exactly where it is so you don't have to break it apart like i did so uh, yeah i took the risk for you all well luckily i haven't broken anything but i have taken the risk for you all so you know where the screw is how it looks where you need to look for and it's better than a picture so uh so yeah there you have it just make sure that if you decide to take it apart if you don't have that tool now granted i would still recommend going to an engineer to uh, do it for you because they have a tool they can just poke it in the hole turn it and you're done easy peasy but still if you want to do it yourself you have a higher risk of breaking shit so uh, be extremely careful and uh now you know where that screw is normally it should be all set okay but uh, if you're like me and you have like a very heavy backpack like that one then uh, your light are gonna tilt up so i'm not sure if uh, if i can show you but usually my light was at this height and it needs to be that light like going sideways down and right now it's like this high ish and my big light was like till here and I was right in the face of a driver so that's why I need to lower the light like that so your light doesn't your main light like your your, your highlight needs to be like this and your normal light needs to be like that so there you have it so thanks for watching and I'll see you all later